good morning guys gals and uh every everyone in between <laughs> how you guys doing um yeah so back again man i know it's been a while and uh like i said i told you guys in my video about the cobra that i would be uploading a little bit more man um kind of found a way to streamline the process just a tad and that 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 should help me just a little bit more so I am actually on the way to pick up a load this morning. Um, I do mostly ag stuff and um, building supplies now. Um, kind of a little update about, you know, my life and um, the business and stuff like that. Everything's going good in my personal life. Um, I can't really complain. Um, just to be completely honest, man, it's probably the best it's ever been so I'm I'm excited about that uh, and in terms of business business has been crazy like I always see a lot of people talking about like there's no money in hotshot there's no money in trucking there's no money in this there's no money in that um, everything's what you make it uh, if you can find your niche in any type of business you're going to make money you're going to be successful uh the biggest thing that i found sorry i got stuff clicking apparently but the biggest kind of the biggest thing that i found in this business is kind of finding your own lane um you know most people want free money and yeah, free money is never good it never lasts um i don't i don't get on the load board anymore I don't have to I go directly to customers uh, I'm direct with every customer uh, and believe it or not I kind of built that business model off of you ship um, and you know all these super truckers on here the first thing that they'll tell you is you ships terrible you ships this you ships that boy if you've been a subscriber of mine you know that's how I started um, I started on you ship I started friends and family giving me jobs um and that's kind of how i masked my business that's how it's been flowing that's how it went then i got on a load board for a couple months and i quickly realized that a lot of people that i did business for were calling me back uh they were calling me back because i was easier to deal with than brokers i was easier to deal with than 90 probably 99 percent of whoever else they were trying to kind of get involved with and it kind of helped me out um so what i've done is man i've i've built my business based off of relationships and that's any business that's any honestly you should really handle everything in life that way build everything off relationships and just grow um but in terms of what we're doing, what we have now. Right now, I have two trucks. I've got my 250 and I got my dually. Um, I sold my flat trailer or my flat uh, pendle hook uh, trailer because it wasn't really like I was doing stuff with it. But with the, the way business is going now, um, I didn't really need it. Um, the next trailer I buy will be a 25 plus 5 or, you know, basically the same thing I have now for the dually. Uh, right now what I do is I, I got both trucks on the insurance and I just switch between trucks. And it's been going pretty good. I am going to be hiring somebody soon, so that's great. Um, but as of right now, man, like I, honestly, I've grown a decent amount. The business has been great. Um, staying super busy um still got the same truck and stuff um and yeah man i i haven't really been doing any crazy runs everything that i do now is mostly local man um or regional i'd say within 300 400 miles max one way so um yeah that's kind of where i've been that's kind of what i've been up to um and once, once I get this load put on, I'll show you guys what I have for today. It's super simple. It's nothing really crazy. Uh, obviously, I'm sitting in traffic on the interstate, so that's fun. 
but uh, I appreciate you guys sticking in here. I appreciate all of the new, old, and everything subscribers. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, take a second, hit the subscribe button. We're going to turn it back up. We're going to be doing some more adventures, man. Um, and also with the Cobra. The Cobra, uh, I got the ECU in the floor of the truck right here. Um, I've been kind of uh, messing with that thing and I got it kind of figured out on what the issue is with it. So wait for an upload on that. That'll be kind of exciting. Uh, hopefully we can get it running. And yeah, but if I could give, you know, you guys, you know, ending, the, ending this video with a piece of advice, what I would give any of you guys that are looking for information on trucking, looking for information on starting a business, looking for information on, you know, just bettering your livelihood and yourself. Um, if you work a day job and you make, let's say $20, $30 an hour, I would tell you if that day job isn't giving you the craziest headache every day, if that day job isn't, um, if that day job isn't tough on your livelihood, if that day job doesn't give you gray hairs, I'm sure I got some. Um, and you don't really seek a livelihood change, you just seek a financial gain, I would stay with your job. Just be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm not saying that to tell you not to chase a bag, but business is fickle. You can make a lot of money, but everything costs a lot of money. Um, it is fun, but I'm a different kind of guy. Not being, not saying that I'm greater than anyone, obviously. I'm just saying that what I find enticing and what I find fun, it's just a little bit different. Like to me, getting my ass kicked every day by this business is fun. Like waking up at five o'clock one morning and eight o'clock the next day. I hate it when I'm doing it, but five minutes after I'm up, I'm like, heck yeah. Like it's just different, man. Like it's not for everybody. And most people find pages like mine, pages like, you know, Toe Piglet and all these other pages. And they, they think, oh man, this is the easiest way that there is to make a ton of money. Yeah, you can make a ton of money, but it's not easy and it's not for everybody. You know, if you're 45 and you've never driven a truck, driven a truck and a trailer, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying, get you some Get you some experience. Make sure you want to hook that joker up all the time. Make sure you want to do the maintenance on trucks. Because you're not making money unless you're doing most of the stuff yourself. Make sure you have the connections to be successful and fruitful. You know? And I don't buy brand new trucks. You know, most of those guys that say that they're buying brand new trucks and they're making a ton of money. I mean, maybe, but... <sighs> To me, I got one truck paid for and one that's halfway paid for. And my truck payment isn't what I make in a day. So there's that. I make more in a day than my truck payment. So that's pretty amazing. So I would, there's so much I can say, but it's, it's really up to you guys. If you guys do decide to want to do this, or if you guys do decide to go into entrepreneurship, but like I said, it's not easy and it's not for the faint of heart. It's not something that you can work two days and then be off five. It's just not that. And most people see this as like a retirement plan. This is not a freaking retirement plan. This is like rough. This is taking what, this is taking everything you know, throwing it out the window and then taking a whole bunch of stuff that you have no clue what you're doing about and then throwing it against the wall and hoping it sticks. That's basically what it is. But I'm just riding and thinking and I figured I would give you guys 
little bit of game, man. A little bit of Thursday game. The Heat, the Heat are gonna beat uh, Joker tonight. Um, it's happening. Sorry if you guys think differently, but it's definitely happening. So I'll show you guys what I've got in a second, and it's been good. I'll catch you guys later. All right, so here is the truck. Same truck, same trailer. Here's what we're hauling today. Just this little Kawasaki mule. Um, it uh, had to come up here to, uh, I think we're right outside of, not High Point, but I can't remember. We're, we're pretty close to Kannapolis. We're like right past Kannapolis. So this thing's getting delivered today. Um, and it's for a local customer who sends me all of his like uh, he's a dealer for he basically does like a ton of um, equipment tractors excavators and stuff like that but yeah here's the truck um, the I do run numbers but they are not on there I do not show those for public consumption uh, the last thing I need is one of you guys being weird. So, but yeah, this is it. Um, figured I'd show you guys that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Figured I'd at least film a little bit today and show you guys what I was doing today and kind of update you on my life. So there's that. I hope you guys have a good one. I'm out.